What's your favourite YouTube channel or podcast to watch and or listen to? <sighs> Favourites, because you can have more than one. Mm. Well, I like, well, I'm not much of a podcast person, to be honest. I always have it's hard to get the time to do it because, you know, the time got to do other stuff. And with the time I'm listening to podcasts, I'm much, you know, I'd be playing drums or practicing drums. But the YouTube channel, I'd say there's like that Charlie or Penguin Zoe on YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Moist Critical. Uh, Moist Critical. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah he's, Charlie's funny as bro. Yeah, he's, uh, me and Em love him. He's really, really good. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's good. Well, he does podcasts as well, but like, yeah, he's funny. Um, who else awesome for YouTube do I like? Well, you know, I like the YouTube drum channels, but yeah, that's not really podcast in essence. But um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. You go, Rory. Mm, YouTube channels. Uh, ooh, it's a hard one, but I probably always go to good old Friendly Geordies. Friendly Geordies is where it's at. Yeah, Friendly Geordies is good, actually, yeah. Yeah, he's like the fucking pretty much kind of like the news, where I was getting news. He used to do like real like, uh, good kind of me malicious content, real kind of just like filthy Frank esque almost. Like, but mm. he, you know, he doesn't do, he doesn't do that content anymore. He's just a bit more of a serious cat. But, Man, he yeah, really he, hates Skymo, bro. Mm. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, and like, he's uh, yeah. very cool and shit. He rips them up, man. He's like he a, fucking a, he really tagged on for a koala killer and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> he's really he's really out there. You know, yeah, he really he's, like. Uh, he's, he's, he's a really good speaker too. Like he speaks really well. Uh, what was it like a one hour interview with buddy Kevin Rudd? Yeah, it was like one hour sit down combo with him. That's pretty interesting. Um, podcast. I, I listen to a lot of podcasts, so I kind of got a. I don't know where to really go with that one. So I've got a few good ones. The main one I'm listening to at the moment is uh, Kill Tony, which is like a, a live comedy podcast. So ah. they, Yeah, it's like the only live comedy podcast in the world. That's how they sell it. Because they can, because it is. So, <laughs> so they'll have like an audience and they'll like, you know, they'll travel around. It's usually based in like um, at the comedy store in America. And then people will put into a bucket and then you'll get randomly called out for the bucket, and then you've got to do 60 seconds of stand-up, kind of just, like, on the spot. Like, you can't really do, like, previously written shit. Like, say if you're a performer who goes on stage a lot, you can't just do something you'd usually do. It's got to be fresh. So, yeah, then they'll have, like, usually a panel with a few comedians on there, or, like, the, the two main dudes that host it, and they usually just end up roasting the fuck out of them. Because, like... 90% of the dudes, like, and the people that go up are just, you know, they're, they're terrible. I don't know. Like, there's a good chunk of the drunk, but then there's some that are really funny. Like, they've got it. So, like, yeah, you actually get some of the cheese. I mean, yeah, it's just, uh, that's a good show. I've been fucking pretty addicted to it. I've been watching that all week, basically. So, <laughs> that's, nice. uh, that's my podcast there for the week. There you go. Um, well... <laughs> I haven't really got into the podcast thing. I've listened to a few here and there, but I wouldn't say there's any that I'm, you know, addicted to in the same way that Rory sort of listens to it or even Ben. I, I kind of listened to the odd episode here and there, and I kind of did it more as a work thing, I guess. Like a lot of the ones I've been doing are like teaching and stuff like that or, or academic theory or something. So they, they don't really count. But for YouTube channels, I mean, Artie Donna is one that I just love. Every time I see oh, him, it dude, just cracks yeah. me up. Like, he just, I just love their cool. stuff. Chip, chip, chop. Chop, chip, chip. My kids were saying that for weeks. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> but, top. You've just reminded me, bro. You've fucking done it to me, man. It gets stuck <laughs> in my head, that song. It just gets it stuck in my head. It's so bad. Um, <laughs> you, know, chop, 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 chop. Uh, you know, yeah, I have what to say... What the fuck that. is chip? <laughs> what the fuck is a chip? Not even taking the top top seriously. Yeah, get yeah. out of my dancing academy. <laughs> you know the oh, one. I... Yeah. My schlong is so long. You know that salami one. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. It's fucking so stupid. But the one, the one that actually got me on their channel even more is the um, oh, what's it called? It's the dad one. 
where he yeah the dad rap going like, to the shops uh, getting free dimmies and this sort of shit yeah <laughs> Yeah, all yeah, songs are actually really, it, that's it. Yeah, I'm all sharp. the songs are really good. Like the other content's really good is good too, but I think the songs stand out the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so and but another another um YouTube channel I've been watching. What I actually do like to watch on YouTube a lot are live bands. Like I watch tons of live bands. Mm. I listen. I listen to full sets. I do that all the time. Um, like I'll be doing the dishes and I'll have my phone on with my you know with my Bluetooth headphones and I'll just play a YouTube clip of a live band and listen to the whole set but uh, yeah. one person i've been following for a long while is a guy named adam neely and he's a bassist but he was trained in like classical and jazz music and these sorts of things so he does some really really interesting podcasts uh not podcasts or videos about music and like he he tends to center it around bass but he does some really like way out there stuff. So one of them was he was he was trying to figure out a seven eleven beat. Like seven seven beats out of eleven because of the whole seven mm. eleven. But there was this there was this other one that, that absolutely blew me away that I thought was fantastic. There was this piece of music that was written um for two performers to perform while they had like a bass and a guitar, but there was no plucking of the strings and nothing like that. It was literally written as an uncomfortable sitting there, shuffling in your seat, cough, move this, move your arm. But that's how the whole thing's written. So he sits there with this other guy and he they perform it. And it just looks like they're just sitting there, <clears throat> you know, and sort of just moving like this and going back and forth. And then they get to the end of it and like, oh, that was really good. And he, he discusses like the, you know, what is music? Like he answers this question, what is music? It's, it's, if it's notated, and somebody has to somebody has to perform it in a way then isn't that music you know so he he questions some of these sorts of things and he's he's really quite intriguing um the only thing i suppose is that it's like watching v source the way he talks <laughs> so by the end you're like oh stop F it funny you say that 7-eleven thing um there was some dude that went into a 7-eleven played a 7-eleven polyrhythm yeah. at 7 11 a.m or p.m for us for seven minutes and 11 seconds, seconds. <laughs> <laughs> <That's brilliant. laughs> like, he's gonna yeah. open a black hole if he's not careful the new dimension opens up <laughs> <laughs> unlocked yeah. the universe yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the key to the Matrix. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> it's the key to the Matrix. <laughs> uh, it was like that meme that I saw where it's like, you know, they got those little packets that says "Do not eat," yeah. and the, and that guy's like, "You can't tell me what to do," and he eats it, and then he wakes up <laughs> from the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Yeah, so Adam Adam Neely is the other one that I that I watch fairly religiously he's um he's quite good aside from that i watch some you know um some youtubers that do some like minecraft stuff and little there's this guy uh Bazagaza. have you heard of Bazagaza before <laughs> no he does he, he, he does like he does like a whole heap of games and that but whenever they play minecraft they're hilarious because they don't they're not like the other minecraft ones like oh wow there's an amazing waterfall here can you believe this guys it's so amazing look at it it goes all the way up like he's not like that at all he's like yeah there's a fucking thing here oh guys a fucking creeper you know <laughs> so, so he's actually quite funny to to listen to and he plays it with this other guy that's just absolutely chaotic the whole time like he just walk up and start stabbing even for no reason it's just funny to watch but yeah that's about it your nice. turn now brendan all right okay uh okay there's a few i will go we'll start with the music side of things so i'm into guitars i'm into pedals into amps so that's a shit so i watch a show called that pedal show um a uk based one two blokes they just make really interesting videos um they do like they, that challenge that i did a little while ago they they did that did um, you get any comments or anything on that one Oh yeah, yeah, a few. Yeah, that's cool. Right. It was um, it was more of, I just needed to do it, release it, and tick it off. I didn't really yep. think, I didn't overthink it too much. Yep. 
Um, so yeah, that's 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 a really interesting channel to watch. So anyone who's interested in gear, definitely recommend that. Um, I really like watching uh, Inside the NBA. So it's like a show, but they put clips on YouTube. So it's yep. not a YouTube channel, so to speak. So it has Shaq and Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, oh, who's an NBA good. player, and um, Ernie Johnson. And it's just a panel, and they just talk about basketball. And they're just funny, because Shaq and Charles Barkley, they just rip the shit out of each other. Cause it's, it's, yeah, I love it. Um, and the other one, oh, there's a, it's like a podcast, um, but they also release it on YouTube. Uh, I don't know, but I think it's just called Jocko, Jocko Willink. Willink? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't see his last name. Um, yeah, that's... Maybe, he, uh, he's older guy. Like, so, yeah, he's good. Um, oh, and last one, I'll say last one. Beardy Man. If you heard of Beardy up, Man? Beardy Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he makes music Ooh. with his voice, and he has... That's right. Beer. And he just puts his voice into it, and he makes all this music. Wow. He's uh, like a fantastic beatboxer. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, loops it, loops it up. Madman. He makes it look so easy. It's like, <laughs> just pick up a mic and do that. You pick up a mic and you go... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another one. I actually was watching this. Um, There's another YouTuber that's a, I'm trying to find what they call giving to sex. It's like a they're like a bakery in America, and um and he the guy that owns it he, like it's like they're like a sour they bake sourdough bread and all that sort of stuff. But the way this guy talks is is like it's just so in depth. What you know he knows what he's talking about. It's just really interesting for you. Don't want to know anything about bread. Um, I'm trying to pick what it's called. Uh, while you're finding it, yeah, on the on the barbecuing side of things, ATBBQ, American. It's an American barbecue shop, but they have a dude who cooks all these recipes and stuff with gear that they have in their shop. That's cool. I, that, I, that I get really so good. many recipes and ideas from that from that thing. Yeah, no, it's proof bread. That's the one. Proof, proof yeah. bread, is it? Yeah, proof. Yeah, yeah. like so the and but the guy that owns it, he's just so knowledgeable in sourdough, and like he's he goes through like he's just doing his bread, and he just talks, and it's just so amazing. He's just so knowledge in fucking bread and wheat and you know it's just it's amazing you know but that's another yeah it's actually when you think about it there is a lot of stuff that you kind of you go you, when you get put on the spot you're like oh yeah but then when you actually think about it you go oh actually there is a bit you know you know because you just take it like especially so you just take it so for granted you just scroll through it you watch it it's like, yeah that's okay yeah you know but then when you actually think on it oh actually it's pretty good you know what i mean yeah 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 so yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there oh yeah what about yeah. podcasts brendan You'd be a podcast man. Oh, yeah, not really. Like yeah, I said, there's yeah. the, the Jocko one, which is like a podcast, and mm. they post it on YouTube. Yep. Um, but I'd, one that I have heard, or uh, that Katrina put me onto, was uh, oh, what's it called? Um, uh, Behind the Bastards or something. Um, uh, it basically, but it goes into the backstories of uh, criminals throughout history. Oh. So they did one on Hitler, and they did one on like this kingpin lady in Miami, I think, and she was like a massive coke dealer, yeah, like, okay. the biggest at the time. 